Hi, welcome to Hindustan Times Budget Explainer Series. In the first video of this series, we are going to understand about the government's expense account. Government's financial plans, pretty much like household budgets, are primarily about prioritizing spending. The budget for 2016-17, will have to juggle between making more resources available, for welfare schemes, infrastructure projects, and also salaries. Total expenditure, or, the size of the annual budget is, the amount of money that government spends, during the year. Over the years, the government's annual spend, has risen sharply, reflecting, the growing size of the economy. India's total expenditure, is divided into two broad components, plan expenditure, and, non-plan expenditure. 26.2% of the center's total spending is on plan expenditure. 73.8% of the center's total spending is on non-plan expenditure. Rupas 4.65 lakh crore is India's budgeted plan expenditure. Rupees 13.12 lakh crore is India's budgeted non-plan expenditure in 2015-16. Plan expenditure is spent on productive asset creation, through centrally sponsored programs, and flagship schemes. Traditionally, higher plan expenditure, is considered good budget management, as it implies that, more funds are going for asset creation, that can multiply income, and create jobs. Non-plan refers to, all other expenditure such as, defense, subsidies, interest payments, including expenditure on establishment, and maintenance activities, such as salaries. Both plan, and non-plan expenditure, are divided into, two broad components, revenue expenditure, and capital expenditure. Rupees, 15.36 lakh crore, is India's, budgeted revenue expenditure. Rupees, 2.41 lakh crore, is India's, budgeted capital expenditure, for 2015-16. Revenue expenditure is spent on, day-to-day -day running of departments, and services. Government, also spends the money on interest payments, subsidies and other such overheads. Capital expenditure, is the money spent on acquisition of assets, such as land, buildings and machinery. Besides, investments in shares, loans and advances that the center grants to states, and union territories, and government-owned companies, also constitute capital expenditure. The government's five-year plan, is knocked down into, five annual plans, that is fleshed out in the budget. The central plan is funded, almost equally from, government's own accounts, or the annual budget, and the resources that flow in from, public enterprises. The government's support, to the central plan, is called the Gross Budgetary Support, or the GBS. The Gross Budgetary Support, for 2015-16, is Rs 4.65 lakh crore. The government's total wage bill, could see a sharp rise, in 2016-17, because of the 7th Pay Commission recommendations. Total spending on employee payouts, will rise by Rs 1.02 lakh crore, if the recommendations are accepted, in entirety, of this, expenditure on pay, will go up by, Rs 39,100 crore, allowances would go up by, Rs 29,300 crore, while revised pensions would cost Rs 33,700 crore. Since the government's overall expenditure will increase, its fiscal deficit, the difference between what it turns and spends, will also widen by 0.65 percentage points. It may make an impact, on the deficit reduction target, of 3.5%, for the next financial year 2016-17.